Sneak This Sneaker Podcast listeners, we apologize for the episode delay. This episode was different. We conducted an interview that we both decided not to air. We want to make sure we're responsible with what we promote and always aware of the doors we open might not be easy to close down the road. We apologize the way this episode ends, but our goal is to continue to provide the best sneaker content. We aim to continue to build new relationships, while continuing to build on our current ones. We appreciate all of our listeners. The mission remains the same, to continue to be the best sneaker podcast, period. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> 16! Cap on the 16, hit with a bread link, nigga, 16, nigga. motivation, bitch, yeah. No, I've been running, 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 running. I'm trying to get stats to the K, yeah. I've been working plus doing the legals. I swear further from a break, yeah. I'm pulling shit on my iPhone, seeing bitch niggas faking plays, yeah. Guess I'm a op, just pull up and hop out the whip and on babies, I'll handle it, yeah. Pull up and squirt the shit, yeah. Pull up and squirt the shit, yeah. I call him my homes, he got the pulse, but I'm not trying to stir up the violence, yeah. Pull up and squirt the shit, yeah. Pull up and squirt the shit, yeah. If you steady trolling, plus act a real kitty, then I'll be tempted. To the violate you, yeah. Money on all of my actions, grind for this shit. Don't you wait for them taxes? Fight you with business, bite out of them actions. Cause all that fuck shit is such a distraction, yeah. Niggas all stuck in their feelings. Call that a snicker, they think that they gleaming. Talking that tough shit like you with the steamers. I'm with the glickeries, give me a reason, yeah. Y'all be them type of niggas. See a nigga pull up, grab your iPhone. Right. And get you a talking that George shit while you sit up. Back in the building, a hey. Appreciate everybody who listens to the podcast. Our, obviously, our iTunes, Spotify listeners. We appreciate everybody on Google, Stitcher, Podbean. We appreciate our YouTube visitors. I'm not sorry, our YouTube viewers. Um, as you can tell, I'm sick again. I have no idea why, but I stay sick, fam. But you know what? Podcast mode. Sometimes you got to get into it. Huh? I was at work sick, fam, and I still pushed through. I like myself in the office. Still get got, got busy, fam. Just pushed through. <laughs> Made me need to slept. <laughs> no, I didn't go to sleep in my office at all. You were asleep when I was in there. I, no, I wasn't. And you walked in. I I was nodding. I was I was a little. Oh, you were asleep. Man, fam, don't even put that out there. Those false allegations, me. <laughs> I don't need none of that. Saying on me. allegations is weird. I don't need none of that on me. Uh, like I said, we appreciate everybody who listens to the podcast. You know, check us out. And we go right here. Yep. Um, pickups. George, you got pickups this week? Let's get back to our roots, man. We did pickups in a while. I don't know what came out. I probably did buy something. Did you get the pink uh, Jordan ones? No. <coughs> oh, not at all? I got a mistake in the mail. I can't remember who it was that hit me up. That said, Actually, you know what? Somebody posted on the IG story and said they're the smelliest Jordans <laughs> of all time. And I responded with, nah, Cat 4s. What does that even mean? You know how them joints would smell. Remember Cat 4s? You open a <laughs> box of Cat 4s, them joints smell like... You know, whatever Joker fell in to turn him into Joker at Acme, and at, at, at whatever that was. Damn. These Jordan 1s, I can't remember who it was, and I apologize. I'm sorry about that. You're right. These are the smelliest Jordans of all time. Smelliest sneakers of all time. So they smell like an oil slick. Bro, oil slick smell better than this. They smell like a combination of <laughs> mechanics, you know, work jacket. They smell like everything, bro. They smell like the, the clothes on the guys that pilot the planes in, like this with the orange <laughs> sticks. In Arizona, smell that matters. Like tarmac. Yeah, that's what they smell. They smell like them cats. Yo, I, I forgot about, you know, it's funny. We were leaving, I was leaving the park, parking lot, and uh, I was drove by that dumpster. I couldn't remember why we was looking at that dumpster. What dumpster? Out th- at work, the dumpster out the back window. Oh, that man. So, yeah, so <laughs> so just real quick, and I forgot to tell you this. So the, the officers that came in and got him out the dumpster, whatever, made him leave. One of the officers was he's still hanging around or whatever. He said that dude smelled so bad that they almost decided to take him in just because of that. They were like, dude, this is unreal. They said I don't they think that would make the situation better. They said that they were like, nah, we would just go take him in and see if he could get to a shelter and get some something. They said he smelled awful. They got good. showers downstairs, fam. Uh oh, uh, in, that, in the gym. Yeah. yeah, they do, but they're not bringing nobody in there. That's too deep. I'm just saying. Oh no, but they said that cat smelled crazy. Though. But obviously, Jordan ones, like I said, the black and pink. I mean, I wasn't assuming that he smelled good. <laughs> I, didn't I, mean. I didn't either. But they, <laughs> but you know, they deal with people like that all the time. So they said it was so bad that they said it was the worst they've ever smelled. All right. Um, they said he was talking crazy too about Obama, Trump, and about some conglomerate. Like something is coming, 
So, yes, and man. I don't like hearing stuff like he that. He was man. a lizard person. Bruh, I don't like hearing stuff like that from oh, people. Right. Fam, that, that man was homeless in the dumpster, mm-hmm. wilding out, nah. and when people like that start saying something is coming, I believe them. I don't believe regular people like us be like, yo, fam, it's coming. No. Cats like that, they mind be at another level. Yes, you uh, believe in someone without a checking account. I, uh, <laughs> man has no checking accounts that you believe everything checking account, say, don't, you know? checking account don't give you no level of knowledge <laughs> over no other man. Fam. He doesn't he <laughs> I mean he lives in a different dimension and you like You uh, right. That's the whole point. That man lives in a dimension that we're not a part of. He, he lives in a prior coming, dimension. He doesn't live in an advanced dimension. Right. He lives in a prior dimension. Okay. It's just I don't know if you've seen the Spider Verse yet. There's a lot of verses out there that you never know. All right, yeah, they, they said, all wear Jordan ones. They one wear Jordan ones. One wear Jordan twos. <laughs> one wear Jordan threes. <laughs> they, they all said they said that the dude was like Obama was the other year. Trump is now. Something is coming. That's what he said. And they said they were gave him. That <laughs> sounds like the worst. <laughs> the worst. Few. I mean, I could have said that. Yeah. That's not like the worst prognostication I've ever heard in my entire life. Guess what? Tomorrow, fam, is different than today. No, he didn't say it like that. He said something like, big, <laughs> and right. sent chills up my spine. Uh, yes. Jordan 1, black tint, pinks, whatever they call them joints are fire. They do smell. And the leather is, what is that, tumbled, whatever that is. And it's cool, but it's a little plasticky. Like, it's a little shiny, too. So I could see why people wouldn't like them. But I feel like Jordan 1's turbo greens and these, these are fire like these are on point of like fire and i don't understand why people didn't want them turbo like, green prices need to go up in my size I, do you you got turbo greens right yeah i, I don't want to sell understand. it and you don't want it no come on bro turbo greens are fire when bro. am i gonna wear that shoe i don't know i don't know when i'm gonna wear mine but well there you go i feel like we need it i feel like all we need is a really good dark pair of jeans and we'll be good it. fam no a dark it. pair of levi's black oh my god jet black fam yes leather pants <laughs> no not that black not that black <laughs> Um, Leather pants at the BT Awards. You copy anything else? Or you copy anything? I don't remember. All? Yeah, I got the Soul, whatever. <laughs> uh, Air Max Day. What else did I? I don't know. Oh, Soul Korea's. Worst shoe. Talk ever about them, fam. In my entire life. Talk about them, fam. First the of worst all, worst materials on a stinger I've ever seen in my entire life, by far, bar none. The entire shoe is plastic. Like not just the like, you know, the whatever the, neon the, stripes or whatever. That's obviously plastic. Then somebody sent me the shoe next to like the what's the Aquafresh? The oh, like Tupac, somebody said that too. And I opened the box. What is this, man? What are y'all doing? Did you get your size? Yeah. Did you try them on just to see what they look like? No. Oh. Okay, yo, fam. I'm just asking. You know, just this joint is for little kids. Uh. I don't even think. I think that joint is for women. Uh, like, I, I'm sorry. No. You can they tell. should have made those. That should have been a, Dor- a Dornbecker shoe only for like mm. GS. That's it. That's a good point. It's the but, worst shoe I've ever but seen. But you could tell that in the picture, like in hand, in person. You could tell that in pictures. No, you couldn't. Yes, you could. No, you couldn't. Not in the pictures. I was hoping the like black part on the toe box and the lower part right there was all like better materials. Because if it was, I wouldn't have let all the other stuff bother me. But that was plastic too. The the pictures when they're not on feet, all the pictures there's like sitting on that table or just a regular picture. They looked cheap. Like, it looked like some stuff that was thrown together. I was hoping. Man, what? what? I was hoping. This microphone is trash. I was hoping. I was like, yo, them joints are going to be awful. And I'll tell you this. The other ones are so awful that the ones, the 98 that represents New York or whatever, they're starting to look better. And I don't like those either. Well, right? Those are sitting everywhere, so you can buy those whenever you yo, want. Yo, them joints are under retail now, places. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what retail was on for them, but 200 200 for all of them except the Vapor Max. Yeah, I seen somebody bought the Vapor Max too. They posted it. They was said they said swing and a miss. I was like, yo, that joints look crazy. And I thought that might have had the potential to actually be the better one out of all of them. I told you, I knew better. Hey, shout out to Jimmy K. Jimmy K. Got the other ones in hand. He Ooh, said, "Is that an actor?" No. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, what are you just saying? Jimmy K. Names? I don't know what that is, fam. Fam, the high school cat. Oh, he's not in high school anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, we don't call him that. So I call him that. <laughs> Kaluga or something else. That's Jimmy we, K. Nah, that's not what we call him. Fam. You call him Kaluga. I don't even know how you pronounce his name. That's the only way I know him. A Bears kid, fan, bro. whatever. Yeah, football player. You can say whatever you want. Oh, I don't know him by Jimmy K. That's a that big sounds kid, like a man. college basketball coach. Shout out to him. <laughs> He's always checked out the podcast. A college basketball coach from a movie that's <laughs> where it's supposed to teach you about like taking payments from early. He looks Jimmy like K. He looked like one of them cats that like if you went out with him and you got into a scuffle, he would body slam everyone for you. Yeah, you're man. probably right. And you'd owe him for life. Man. Um. But he got the what are the what are the blue ones called? 
I yeah. don't know what they're called. He voted for those, yeah. And he got those in hand. He said it's one of the worst things he's ever seen. Like he said that Nike should be ashamed of themselves. And those pictures he said. Yeah, but I think the toe box and whatnot is suede awesome. on those. That's what I was hoping on on the soul pair. That's cool, but the shoe itself is like bent weird. Like it looked crazy. The top view, it if looked like it was a If you shave all that stuff off, I think it looked better. Fam, I ain't got time to be out here customizing my own kicks. What are you talking about? You talk about all the time customizing shoes. What do you... I mean, you was talking about taking the sole off a of moccasin and putting a boot sole on a moccasin. Like, what are you talking that about? That was a weird period between me and some... <laughs> like, yeah. We was buying out here hey, buying... You, uh, you guys are in the thread angry at me for saying this blasphemy. First of all, buying those minutes. I'm telling you, when we look back on like 30 years, I must I must have these screenshots of the thread, and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, we were trolling you the entire time. No, no, I'm no, telling no. you, though. Minnetonka, Minnetonka, Native American shoes, whatever they call it. I don't know what they are. Moccasins. Moccasins. Minnetonka with boost on them, but them joints are absolute fire. Uh, it's just too much work trying to do it. Uh, if I would if I would have got the right size of Minnetonkas, I would ever I would have did it, but I, I never nothing, did. I got it. nothing for you, fam. All right, man. Uh, shout out to Rick Teves. He actually put a a moccasin on boost, uh, like a wallaby on boost. Look, uh, fam, I don't got nothing for you. Though. All right, you copy anything else? You got a bunch off that one like a like. Did they ship? No, not yet. I emailed them. They were like, "Oh, it's, we're still behind." Duh, duh. Whatever, that's fine. As long as I know you didn't forget, because they took the money out like a week ago. So, what country is this? Germany. I think it's in Germany. Most companies like Nike and East Bay and them don't take the money till it actually ships. This is obviously different. So, did you? Uh, what you I mean, you it was PayPal, again? so I'll get it back. But what'd you cop? Air Max One Eighties. Um, I can't say one of them, but the other one was uh, Air Max One Eighty with the like little f- f- thermometer flame on the back or whatever. The black one. That's the Fire and Ice Pack. Oh, uh, with the, the black pink pair. swoosh. It's not, yeah, I guess it's pink. It must oh. be like infrared or whatever. But you, you keeping those? We'll see. It's eleven and a half. So if it fits, yeah. Oh, why do you eleven and a half? You know you can't wear eleven and a half. What I mean? You haven't worn eleven and a half in about okay. six, seven years. Okay, though. I I'm having a pair of Air Max One that's eleven and a half that fits perfectly fine. Fits better than some twelves. Which ones? The white ones that I always talk about that you think is dumb. That's like my favorite shoe. Dumb. Oh. Uh, Nike Lab, whatever what? they call, it. whatever they call, it. Oh, Parks and Recs. <laughs> All right, yes, Pinnacles, Nike, Nike Lab Pinnacle, yes. Oh, them joints are whack. Okay, I almost wore those. Them. I almost wore those last weekend, but yeah, I wore Crest. Don't have those, fam. I do. I got, got those ones. ones. I got yeah, the exactly. like. I got the like. Whatever. You off ain't pink. Got it, B. Bro, those <laughs> crepes. <laughs> yeah, they off mine. Off brand is what it's like. Fam, those crepes. Come on, fam. Oh, fire. 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 Not gonna lie to you. In hand, like you put them and on. And like, the inside is like suede on the like. It's like Liner or whatever, or fire. Like that. That's like a so fu- comfortable. Fubu velour suit inside. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the fire. The shoe is not comfortable. That's, yes, that's it is. No, it's not. That you must have got one that's too small for you or something. No, the outsole, the outsole. Yeah, it's the, heavy. Uh, Fam, that joint weighs about as much as a cleat. I mean, are you trying to like run high steps in them or something? I'm just wearing them around the city, you know? Like, Man, what? come on, brother. You argue about shoes being heavy and light more than anybody. No, no, no. So. Bulky is different than heavy. If the shoe is still slim, but it weighs a lot, I don't care about that unless I'm playing hoops or something. I'm not playing hoops in those. All right. It's a Air Max One silhouette that's slim and it goes with pants. Perfectly fine. I will never order. One of them joints like two or three times already. I can't order from overseas. Though. I have the worst luck of all time ordering overseas. Yeah. That, I got con- that, that dot you got. That's different. Man, I got Concord <laughs> 11. Some joints came in an alternate box. They're like an away. <laughs> some joints came in an away box. All right. That's one. Away box. Two, every time I order from somebody, I can't never get my sizes right. Uh, that's why. Oh, yeah, but that's because you're a moron, so. You might be right. I don't know international <laughs> stuff. Crepes, when I got them in the box, the swooshes, filthy. All right, I'm talking like. That's how they all look. That's fine. You don't even notice it when you wear it. You're right, but when you open up a fresh pair of box, they came Man. from overseas. Man, look, stop look, it. Look, look, look. You are, the, you are the main person who loves to talk about, like, when you look at something, it's trash. You know? When you open up a box and the joint's filthy, that's, come on. Like, stop it's it. It's not filthy. It's just dyed from the dark blue dye oh, in no, the no, thing. No. My stuff is brown, though. My stuff is, like, overseas dirt. No, uh-huh. it's not. No. All right, somebody tried them on. I ordered from the same shop you ordered them from. Mine's the same thing. It might not be as bad, but it's a different size. You're a veteran at over, over, ordering overseas. Uh, they give you nothing but the finest. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Me. mine has spots on it too, just not a big spot Fam. on the toe box. I looked at it and I didn't even notice that when I first copped them because I looked dirty, threw them in the box, never looked at them again. I took them joints out, I put them on my feet, walked in the sunlight. I was like, "Yo, what is this? It looked like <laughs> it looked like a chiseled tip sharpie." And they like, 
like filled in whatever was missing on that side. You know? Yeah, you. I told super you. heated. You know? Even and you know what? I, I took forever to wear those because I thought I might sell them. I might. I'm not sure how I feel about it myself. You should have sold. I wouldn't them have been able ago. to sell them. Yeah, I you would have. Fam. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you could have sold them on goat with maybe that. on goat with that defect. But that defect is trash. Mm. Like another defect, you know, like crease or something weird or something. That's fine. Well, you could have sold them and then just hope they pass because you wouldn't never looked at it. You just would have sold it without knowing that. I went on goat to. Uh, to see how much they are. Them joints are expensive, man. Oh, they're not. I'm going on StockX, huh? My size is under retail. Them joints are 275, 300 on GOAT. So I don't know. I didn't check StockX for them. Um, I think it's not that, that much on my size as well. The 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 yellow joints, the bacons, them joints are cheap. Those are still sitting on some websites. I might end up copping those, though. You ain't copping them. Yeah, you're right. Um trying to think, oh, I made a is it Heron Preston? That's what uh, it's called. Nine and a half is 118. What is wrong? Oh, that's StockX. You? I didn't look on StockX. What's something wrong with you, man? Fam, this is goat.com slash think this, fam. I don't know what you talking about with this StockX. <laughs> StockX is trash. Man. <laughs> and actually, I don't know about that might goat, be the though. funniest thing you I don't even know about goat. Though. Goat better get their act together, though, because they got they about to have me wilding out. Man. So they better start sending some paperwork. You've been wilding, fam. Look at that. Look at that look at the uh Goat don't send that paperwork. Look I'm at about that to... back of that shoe right there. Yeah. <laughs> Comfort. You a weird person. They, if they made all Air Max ones with that like liner in the back like that, oh comfort. All right. I don't the look at that like being comfort. comfort. I look at anything soul wise being comfort. Dude, that soul weighs about eight pounds, huh? Is shipping on those to Florida would be about thirty seven dollars. Uh, shipping overseas probably about two hundred. Not when you sell them go to a sneak disc book, or I mean, sneak disc. What's it called? You don't even know what we at, huh? You know nothing about what we uh, at. Right? Yes. You think we're in a different dimension with that sickness you got right now? You talking about? I don't know where we at. Fam, no. I'm getting worried about this being sick this often. Dude, my immune system must be super trash, man. Yeah, because you be eating all them steaks. So that's all you eat for dinner, is steak. Uh, man. That's a lie. All right. <laughs> now, I don't. I don't <laughs> eat the. I don't eat the healthiest. But I can't eat fruit. Fruit makes me throw up. Huh? Steak. Mm -hmm. I'm talking one bite from a strawberry. I throw up all over this place. Dude. You better learn how to like. You better uh, tell them you need a, a direct intravenous fruit juice into your yes. into your and vein. Yes, an <laughs> and then an IV of naked <laughs> in my face. Oh, Swago. Naked got way too much sugar. Huh? Well, them naked drinks are so good. Buy them by the case. Yeah, because huh? they got a million pounds of sugar in them. That's, that's why. The, that's the only way I can eat fruit. Huh? Naked juice. These suck. No. And fusions. These super suck. They do, but if I can get them for it should have been two, 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 two. God. The shoe should have been pink, not the swoosh. And then they could have done the swoosh with that. I'm not man. It look like Tim's, and the back is brown. Come on, man. Look, they just what like, is this, fam? They call bacon. Huh? The, Tim's don't look like that. No. They're not called bacon. They're called crepes. No, those are called bacons. Bruh. They're, they're, facts. They're called bacons. No, they're not. They're, they're called, called bacons, man. I'm not playing with you. All right? What does that say at the top of the page? That's fine. What that site says, they're called bacons everywhere else. No, uh, the pink, the swoosh, the pink swoosh is when the bacon's raw, and then you put it in the skillet, it gets a little darker. And then when you turn the shoe back to the brown, yes, it's cooked. Yes, yeah, so when you put them inside your Tim, it's boots. cooked, man. Okay, bacon's already came out. They're Air Max nineties, and they came out like in two thousand four or whatever. That's so. another. That's a reboot. Nah, right, yeah. I'm not joking. They're called bacon's. No, they're not. All right. If you want your bacon raw, that's the pink. Spoon. People who don't Halfway have the like people don't have <laughs> people who don't have those nineteen uh, or the Air Max nineties might call them bacon because they think it's a replacement. It's not. It looks nothing like Dave quality meat. Pause. Bacon. <laughs> I uh, made hair on Preston. Um, Nike ID. <laughs> They're fire, but I'm assuming it's too expensive for me because I'm poor. What is going on with this man? No, they uh, no 220. I mean, that's that's out of my price range. No, I thought they were gonna be 300. Like, I mean, this Nike ID was a little bit. I mean, you know, and, I'm sure you'll be able to resell them too. That always happens. Stuff like a, a Nike ID, and people are like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have bought it, and then you go turn around and sell it. Well, them joints was up there, and it said it had a six day countdown clock. And then cash went on to the next day. Couldn't copy anymore. Sold out. So They only made a certain number of souls, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I, the 720 soul sold out the same day, like fast. You could still make it with the other one. But. I feel like you have to get it with a 720 soul. Like I got the email today saying that they they started making my you know, joints at the factory, B. Yes. What? Uh, they sent yes. screenshots of the materials. The cows are birthing them as we speak. <laughs> they sent screenshots of the materials laying flat. Uh, all right. They said it take about six or seven weeks, so they said they'll be here June 10th. So I don't know uh, if I'll be in town, but you know them joints is coming. Um, only thing I can't wait for those. Uh, but the problem with those is, is that you know when they were doing like the whole campaign for them, getting ready to come out and create them or whatever, it kind of made gave you the impression that you can do a lot more to it. I mean, it's just I, mean, I don't know what it is with Nike ID. They give you four colors. 
They give you maybe five. Listen, Nike ID is trash. <coughs> Been trash. We talked about this many times before. Of course. Super trash. I mean, I just don't understand, like, the colors. Eat do like, trash. Like, it's it's cool. Okay, one thing with materials. Fine. If you don't want to put suede, you don't put whatever, whatever, denim, whatever, bespoke and all that stuff is, I get that. But I don't understand why the colors you get to choose from are orange, red, black, green, blue, white. That's it. And I'm like, yo, we can't get an olive. You can't get a yellow. You can't get a purple. It's That's it. Then you make the sole, the air bubble sole, you get four colors. White, black, translucent, green. Like, I'm like, yo, that's it. <coughs> oh, it's like, yo, you don't give a lot of options for it. I made blue. Well, who do you think you are? Sean Weatherspoon? <laughs> yeah, you're right, fam. Why not? You, you complain you about the same thing as two. You are Heron Preston himself? I don't even know who that is, by the way. <laughs> I think he's black, though. <laughs> I, you just making stuff up. No, I've seen this bald black dude holding them, and I just assumed that was him. But listen to you, though. Uh, but I made like a Dodger blue. You know, I wanted blue. You know, I, oh, I also copped a bunch of stuff on Marathon uh, for Nip. Shout out! I was about to shake pit. my head, but I'm not going to shake my head now. Rest in peace to Nip. I copped a few things off of there, but them joints say it won't be here. It's about say they own Extreme back over, which I I knew it would be. So by the time them joints come. <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, I can't wear nothing from six zero. So I should have ordered. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. I should have ordered hoodies. Uh, I should. That's how long it's gonna take to get that stuff. Uh, they're on supreme back order. I ordered t-shirts for the summer. I should order hoodies for the winter. Uh, that's how long it's gonna take to get it. <laughs> well, shout out to that. Uh, put money you back in the neighborhood. Would have wear a t-shirt under a leather long sleeve shirt. Look, man, man, we out here. I wanted one of the baseball jerseys, but uh, I just couldn't debate on it. Uh, and plus, you never know what sizing on that stuff. But anyway, shout out to Nip. Rest in peace, Nip. Funeral was dope. I don't know if you caught any of it. That was dope. I mean, I saw some of the city. videos from, like, the kid, Lil Wayne's son, right. talking and his mom talking and the brother talking. But that was it. It was good. It was it was dope. It was super dope. Snoop was dope. Like, it was cool, man. Seeing through the city, representing the city like that. And uh, I'm, I, I'm still glad to see on social media people posting about Nip. Like, it hasn't faded away yet. Every day I go in there, if not somebody's changed their... Their name. I put the marathon flag on our Twitter. Like, it's a big thing. So, like, people still posting pictures, you know, stuff like that. That's dope. And I want them to keep doing it. Like, if for the rest of my life I see Nip on my timeline, that's perfectly fine with me. Like, I, I, that's perfectly fine. So, uh, shout out to them. Shout out to Marathon Clothing. Um, I want that stuff. I've seen some videos there. since then. And cats are talking about there's still shootings happening. So, we'll, we'll see if people there's actually definitely embrace still the ideology. Happens, so I need people to chill out, uh, but I'm not know. talking about Chicago either. I'm talking about LA. No, LA. I've seen some from Atlanta. Like it's not even. But see, that's the thing. Like the reach of Nipsey. I don't want it to just stick to LA. Like I want everybody across the country to be like, you know, what are we doing, man? Like I don't got to do that. Like I need people to value their own lives. That's even doing the shooting. Say to yourself, I don't want to end. Good luck with that, fam. Here, all right. I don't want where I've reached right now to end here because I'm so angry at this person. Like The younger generations grow up and they don't even know why the beef exists and they just carry it on because someone told them there's a beef with that neighborhood right there across the street. So that's never going to stop. I mean... Oh, I get it. But, you know, you just hope for people to advance and grow. That's all I hope for. Um, I can't think of any other pickups. So, oh, Jordan Forrest. I don't even bow, 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 bow. What's crazy is, is that... You know, every single person knew they were dropping on sneakers. Uh, that's not even a question. Uh, well, once Nike did the, once Nike screwed up and made it to where all the jabronis knew, then they made it harder for everybody mean? else. When it first flashed on there, it was supposed to be available. Oh, no, I'm looking at people's posts and people are saying like, yo, the homie told me it was going to be on there. I saw the, gl like, all everybody's posts like, fam, I was in there waiting. Everybody had got a tip from somebody and knew it. And shout out to the people that tipped us off. Uh, like, I appreciate that. Um, I'm sure it allowed more jabronis to know what was going on. Though. Yeah, I mean, social media, everything. The word got spread. So, you know, it is what it is. And when you spread the word to everybody who wears the exact same size, you out here, it's a, it's a marathon. So you got to do what you got to do. Now, well, that was a sprint. Now, uh, yeah, that was a weird sprint because, like you said, I was in it, saw the glitch. Like, it did the flash, Jordan Black, white, ch -ch -ch -ch. and then a shoe came up. I hit it, disappeared. Never popped up again, never did nothing. Everybody was DMing, messaging, bam, we saw it, blah, 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 whatever. Now, I stayed, <laughs> I stayed in it, and I was picking my son up from school, so I'm, like, be doing the irresponsible thing, driving, trying to refresh and do that. But um, you didn't stay in it? Yeah, I like, had it open, still lost. No, and then you saw it again, it popped up, and it put you in line? I had the app open still. I didn't have it on my screen at the time, refreshing it. I did that for a while, and then I just, I didn't close the app. I just went to another app. Oh, see, I just kept... I kept refreshing it. Nope, close the app. Get back in it. Close it. I just kept doing that for as much as I could till I saw it again. 
and was able to cop. So I've never owned a bread for or what a black for, or whatever you want to cement for, Jordan for. So I'm I'm hyped for it. And I'm rocking it. One of my greatest tweets of all time was due to that. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it or not. <coughs> Calling your own tweets the greatest tweets of all yep. time is crazy. Sneakers can suck my D Oh, the app. I think yeah, sneakers and Nike too. Stop it. They can suck my dick. Um, but I'm glad I got I'm those. I'm the king of fours. I should have been the only one in the United States of America who was guaranteed a pair. Well, you're not the king of fours. So. I am the king of fours. Well, you have to have at least you know at least five pairs of fours to be the king of fours. No, no, no. I don't mean king of fours in that regard. Jumpman Bostic probably the king of fours in that regard, but he probably got trashed. So I don't care about that. I'm talking about somebody who had original fours. So I'm sure there's millions. Of, well, they probably didn't release a million pairs. Had original many, whites. How many pairs they released? 99% of the people who got those didn't order the didn't uh, own the first pair. What comes out this they should week? should have been held for me. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing that comes out this week. Snakeskin, so. 11 low blues. Care about those? Nope. Uh, I could have sworn I remember you like really like kind of champion for those, but nah. I don't remember. I never cared uh, for those. Those other ones that are white snakeskins or whatever, those are all right. Might take a look at them, buy them. Uh, oh, they remind me of the. It's kind of the same colorways as that one four. What was that like a lab four? Remember that four like covered in that snake skin? It was like an off oh, yeah, whitish. Yeah. Um, the second adapt BB comes out. What is that? The Se- oh, the, the gray basketball one basketball shoe. Um, the dog walker SB dunk high comes out, and that's really it. What you think about them dog walkers? Suck. Uh, I might try to cop because SBs are back, and people will probably pay a lot for it. But SBs are that, back. They back. Navy blue snakeskin 11s. Any snakeskin 11 is for women to me. Like the reason just, SBs are back is because the price to buy is cheap and people are paying like 300 or 250 for it. So you can flip it. I'm going to take a look at the, the Dog Walker box. Shout out to Shanghai Soul. Jay sent a picture of the box. And I don't know if that's just out there, if that's everywhere. It's a 10 box. That joint is fire. Uh, a he, 10 box, you yeah, said? Yeah, it's like a metal 10 box. Let me what, go he ahead. got it or he, uh, he said he copping. He said he copping just for it. Um, he ain't copping nothing. Um, he said he's a sucker for a box. And cats need to chill out with that box stuff. I'm a sucker for a box too, if you know what I mean. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into you, fam. I don't know what's gotten into you. Yeah. You, uh, you pretend like you don't like boxes. Look. All right. I like one box. Look. Okay. Well, you know what I mean. Hey, man. You didn't come off that way. So. <laughs> um, you believe what you want, fam. Well, I don't have plan on buying any of those, but you talking about the SB prices, I might cop that, spit, shoot that off, These shoes get that profit. Suck so bad. I'm sure someone who's like six nine will put it on and it'll look okay on their foot. But yeah, six nine. Um, <laughs> he doesn't exist anymore. In case you haven't noticed, he's in Clinton Correctional Facility or wherever he is. That's crazy too. It's like yo, value your like you thought you was on the top of the world. That is over with, bruh. It's crazy. I don't bro. got nothing to say about him. I'm, I don't got nothing to I'm say about him. He's but gone. I could care it, less it, if he values his life. Yeah, but it's just a disappointment to see like how you can just be so happy and so high on the world. If people aren't so positive, good. I could care less what happens to him. Like uh, Nipsey was a positive person doing stuff for the neighborhood, regardless if he was a sixty or not. Before that, like I don't know if you can go back. Like say we don't know what he did. Say he did like a lot of dirt or whatever. Of course, maybe this new stuff doesn't override that. But if he just was a gang member but never did, like, really something super bad, then whatever he's doing trumps whatever that was back in the day. So in that regard, I'm sad. He's a positive person. Right. I don't got, I'm not sad for people. Like, number one, he is a child molester. <laughs> Regardless of how you feel about that story, he was convicted. Child molester and obviously a fake gang member. And whatever, like, immediately turn around snitching on people. And then whatever else he been up to with... Um, it's just the like feel like the feeling criminality or whatever you want to call it. I don't got no respect for him. No. Like uh, at a at a point in time, I did find it hilarious. Like, yep, oh, you know, it came back and got you. But then when you look back, you're like, dang, man. Like, it's nah, still so something about it's still something about like saying somebody like yeah, no, nah, like to me, you know. But everything that he's getting upon him, he deserves it. If he did it and all this stuff, it's coming back to you, and that's just the lesson learned about six nine. Uh, Tiger Woods. How fire was that, George? Um, so I have complaints to lodge. Um, number one, they moved the round up well, because weather. of weather. But the weather's still in the... Let me get this off, okay. all right? Pause. Box. All right. They moved the round up. 
I was out the night before watching the UFC thing. Not that I got home to bed late, but I knew I wasn't going to wake up at 6 a.m. Pacific time to watch it on, you know, where we live. So I recorded the whole thing, recorded it from start. And then I set another recording because the max they'll let you extend the first recording is only three hours on DirecTV. So I recorded the first one, extended it. Then I started another one and the second one didn't start, didn't work. So when I woke up, I didn't check my phone. I started it from the very beginning. Like I fast forwarded to where the leaders teed off on Sunday morning. I probably woke up at like 9, 930. So by then it was already close to being over. Started watching it. It went the re- the first recording went through the 11th hole, like uh, kind of ironic that it would like whoever finished on 11. I don't know if it was Tiger or Molinari. I think it was Molinari. Finished and they started walking off and the recording ended right there. I went to go start the next recording and it wasn't there. So then where'd you end up starting at? I didn't have it. No. Oh, wait. So I saw oh. the first 11 holes and then saw nothing. And I had started one live on the mass on CBS at like 11:30 or 10:30 in the morning or something like okay. I had press record again but on channel 5 But you still got to watch I saw the first 11 holes right then I had nothing right and then, then I go again? back to start the next recording thinking all right at 11:30 or whatever there's cuz they said the round should end at like noon I was like all right there'll be like two holes left so I'll at least see the end The next image I saw was Tiger celebrating So you didn't even watch it Okay, now first of all, all your complaints you're talking about, those are all self inflicted for the for the record. No, they're not. Oh no, they are. No, they're not self inflicted. Oh, because self-inflicted. I set it up to record and it didn't record. Okay. That's not self inflicted. You were responsible for all that. Nobody else was. Okay. No, so there's no direct those TVs. Are... All right, man, come on. All right. Oh, really? So you set something up, you don't expect the equipment to work or Fam, I don't expect nothing to work that's anything like that. No, I so... double, triple Check everything. I go to every... If it's something that important to me, I go to every room and record it on a box. Every single one. That's not how it works with a new DirecTV system. Man, what? You record it on one. It shows it on all of them. <clears throat> you right. But you can record separately on every single box as well. On mine, I can record... I could set Oscar's box just to record about 80 shows. This box will record certain ones and this box. That's not how it works with Genie. <laughs> you know that, right? Well, the sorry. Little, sm- the is. little small Genie that yeah. has, doesn't have a hard drive on it. I only, only the have, main one. I only have... The main we got about seven in the house. Like yes, the small genie one does not have a hard drive. It's recording on the main. You right, but I have more than one that does in the house. I don't have just small genies in my house. I only have a small genie in one area of my house. That's oh, yeah, it. You, you wild fam. You're, no, I'm not. One of your bills so expensive. My bill not. The, I mean, it's very expensive. Yeah, exactly. But it ain't because of that. Mm. Yeah, it is. Anyways, you wildin' fam. Anyways, phenomenal. All right. I'm heated, and it's not my fault. It's no, you should have woke up. Fault. You should have woke up and watched. Who's waking up at 6 a.m. who doesn't have kids? I did. You have kids. That don't matter. Man, please. What the yes, heck do does? anything? Man, please. Who? Okay. Who is waking up? Number one, they were supposed to tee off at 3. But you knew they were moving it up before They're, it even happened. You're absolutely right. So I scheduled to record because I knew I wasn't going to get up. I was out watching UFC. I think that joint ended at like midnight or something. Huh? Damn, you love UFC. Huh? What are you talking? Have you ever seen me tweet about like no? But UFC you go to you go to the bar to watch UFC all the time. Yeah, if it's a big fight. So three of the, uh, well, Max Holloway is arguably the best fighter ever in, in history, his division. So if it's a big fight like that, pay per view. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch. And plus, was it worth that to miss Tiger win? Adesanya. I mean, I didn't miss it. I rewatched it, recorded it on the recording, and showed the whole thing. So I watched it from twelve to through the end. But it just was oh, so already you did knew. watch it. Oh, yes, okay. after I already knew what happened. Oh, okay. I mean, you got to watch it though. <clears throat> I thought you meant you didn't get to see any of like other stuff. No, I, they re- they showed a replay because they knew that the it was supposed to start at twelve West Coast time and it started six. They moved it six hours. That's crazy. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. They're trying to avoid playing on Monday. Like that's never been an issue in the past. It was the first time they ever done that. Um, how great was it? How important is it? Oh yeah, it was absolutely. I mean, I so my number one thought about the thing is like some people are calling it the greatest comeback in history, sports history. If you're talking about from his injuries and not winning a major eleven years ago to winning a major now, then I would agree with that. But if you're talking about just that singular tournament coming back, I don't think that's the greatest comeback in sports history. So it depends how you define that. See, I don't, I don't view it as the greatest comeback. I view it as probably the greatest story in the last 10 years. 
Not sports history. I don't know what sports history. That's what a lot of people are calling it. Uh, like, well, like magazines and newspapers and stuff. Right. Last 10 years, definitely. I think it's one of the biggest, the number one sports story of all time. Especially only because Tiger himself. Tiger Woods is our favorite golfer of all time. Mine, I don't care if he never won again. He was going to be my favorite golfer of all time, period. Because just like Jordan, we saw how great Jordan was. Period. We also saw him on the Wizards. I don't care what he did on the Wizards. Like, we saw a great, boom. We saw Tiger. Tiger's the only one that's won four majors in a row. Like, Tiger, we saw him at his prime, at his best. I don't care if he never won another one again. I saw that. He's the best. Period. Watching him, you know, par, like he was playing. Like he was playing, he was concentrated, he was focused. When Justin Day, not Justin Day, um, Justin Day came up, got second, right? No. Bruh, what is going on here? I don't know. Uh, no, there was like two, two or three people tied for second. He, second. he tied for second, but he didn't post a number first. Dustin, okay. Or, or he posted, what is, bruh. I don't know what's what up with that mic. What is going on here? No, Jason Day finished before. No, no, Dustin Johnson. Justin DJ, Johnson. DJ posted 12 first. Mm. Then Day posted 12, and then Kupka had the putt on 18 to get to 13 with Tiger still <coughs> having to play 18. I'm texting everybody. When I saw Dustin call, climb up, I was like, oh, that's it. He's going to go ahead and take it. Because whether or not we love Tiger or not, out there, Dustin Johnson is the best golfer out there to me, all right, in the last few years, all right? You can argue anybody else, but to me, Dustin is the best. Dustin Johnson is the best golfer out there in the last few years. I mean, he's definitely in the top five. I don't know if he's number one. Who's number one? Who would you say? I don't think he's number one. I don't think he's uh, the number one golf ranked golfer right now. I'm uh, pretty no, sure I don't it's, think he is. Huh? I don't think he is either. Yeah, so um, that's what I'm saying. It's, Rankings. Eh. Eh. Well, it depends on how you finish, so it definitely matters. I'm not saying it's not uh, the end all be all, but. How Let's high. see, world golf rankings. I would imagine it's probably Kepka, Kepka, however you pronounce his name, because he's won three of the last – or four of the last seven majors or whatever it is. So um, He doesn't seem to win in non-major events, though, which is kind of weird. Once Tiger won, the red shirt on Nike flew off the shelves. Um, oh, I believe it. But, you know, what's crazy is the version that they're selling – Oh, DJ is now number one but through the Masters. Oh, so Justin Rose was number one last week. That's who it was. The – they have um, the version that Nike sold out on didn't have the swoosh on it. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't that understand all. that either. Why I don't would you that. have your brand on your own product? I'll tell you this too: watching all the other golfers out there wearing like you know the Nike, wearing Air Max One stuff like that, seeing them wear that stuff, Tiger definitely needs something better now. Tiger's, Tiger's okay. Tiger's an old man, so he, he is. He's never been. He was like part of the cool before golf was cool in terms of like. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Like, what do you mean cool? Tiger, I never saw Tiger as cool. I just saw him Tiger as was like, a, Tiger was always cool when he was younger because think about what all the other golfers looked like and talked like and and inter and who they how they interacted. All these younger golfers now wearing all these Air Max ones and doing all this stuff and doing like, um, I don't know if you're familiar with any of that stuff, but like Jason Duffner and Bubba and all had the like little Instagram slash YouTube thing they were doing for a while, and they have like a group of guys or whatever they travel together to tournaments, their wives hang out. All that started because of Tiger. So I mean, Tiger I was def Tiger might not have been cool to like the inner city or urban people, basketball fans or whatever. But Tiger definitely started the cool in terms of drawing anyone who oh, was course. not an old white man to watching golf. I well, mean, I'm, I'm like fielding text messages left and right from everybody. Like, yeah, I don't mean Tiger was cool. And what uh, is going on here, man? I don't know. I am about to get, I'm about to throw this out the window. Switch mics if you want. Tiger, I'm not talking about Tiger cool as in terms of like you, if you saw him at a party, you would think he was cool <laughs> dancing right. and talking to girls and doing whatever else. I'm just talking mm -hmm. about like in terms of he was the first one to like kind of start celebrating really on tour in terms of like fist pumps, oh, yeah. hit a putt, chase the putt because he knows it's going in, point at the hole, oh, yeah, yeah. do all that kind of stuff that like a lot of people was thought was like upon. yeah like uh, uh, outside of etiquette in golf so right. i mean cool in those terms and was able to draw in a different audience not only the minority audience cuz he's a minority he's you know black and asian which is two minorities in the, at least in the united states but also he started up a lot of the inner city golf programs i don't remember the 
that actual name of it is. Oh, you know, know like first right. tee is something. There's something else, but so a lot of that stuff getting inner city kids to play golf started up with Tiger. So I mean, I don't like again. I don't mean cool in terms of like right. People who are into sneakers would look at them and be like, oh, Tiger, that's the cool guy. But I mean cool in terms of, again, bringing people who aren't middle-aged white men into golf. Because that's – every single golfer who is – came – who was like, let's say, 30 when Tiger started through the guys who are 25 now, obviously two different generations, they will all tell you Tiger is 100% himself responsible for bringing money to the PGA Tour. Oh, that's a Tour. fact. Because you uh, want him great. Payouts when he started, I think I read the article, I don't know, a couple weeks ago or whatever. So I think the winner's share from the Masters, when Tiger won it in 97, I want to say it was like maybe 250000 or something like that. And, great, and granted, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Inflation happens. So obviously whatever that amount was back then would naturally be inflated, but not over two million. Tiger himself won over two million dollars. So to go from I think it was two hundred fifty thousand, I could be wrong about that, but to go from what it was in nineteen ninety seven, now we're only twenty two years later, he's making over two million, two point one or whatever it was for winning. That's all due to him. I mean, one hundred percent. Right. Um, like I said, you know, I'm fielding because you know everything you're saying, 100 percent fact. I mean, like I said, I'm fielding text messages from people glued to TV who are asking, "How do they score? How do you keep the score? How is this even, you know, understanding when the ball goes in the water? You know, all that stuff." So, Tiger definitely is. You know, we need him to be back in that forefront. Whether even if he's just in the hunt on Sundays, it has to be that way. And if Tiger would have lost. I think it would have been really devastating. Uh, I think something like that, on even on his psyche, would be rough. Like because, like he said, he didn't see himself getting back to this point. Um, okay, so Tiger won four hundred eighty-six thousand in nineteen ninety-seven when he won his first major in the Masters. And now I'm gonna look it up now what it was now, but I know it was over two million. I think it, yeah, I think it was a little more than like more than two million. Um, the overall amount, though, so here, so here, this is probably an easier way for people to understand. Um, the prize pool, for which means everyone who makes the cut gets a piece of the prize pool. In nineteen in nineteen ninety seven, the prize pool was two point seven million dollars. In two thousand nineteen, the prize pool was eleven point five okay. million. I thought that. Okay, yeah. So that just goes to show, and that's definitely not all inflation. So that goes to show what advertisers, TV stations, and right. whatnot are willing to pay to have Tiger on the air because of the ratings that he brings. Um, you know, obviously, you know, somebody, you know, we talked to this week, you know, had this discussion, you know, golf is definitely in that realm of, you know, trying to be cool or trying to be more appealing to, like, the younger generation, trying to be more appealing to just anybody to try it. You know what I mean? You talked about it the other day. Is is Tiger? How do you get this younger generation or sneakerheads or anybody like that interested in something like golf? Are you asking I'm me asking or are you? you? I'm asking you. Um, I mean, uh, Nike starting to design Air Max One golf shoes definitely is part of it. Um, they look dope on TV too. Yeah, but I, we had we got or I got them in hand. I got the money pair, not the right. grass pair, but the other one. They're all right. I mean, they're not. The money pair is kind of whack, though. That wouldn't that wouldn't draw me into golf. Like I said, I've been a golf. My right. dad, my dad was a semi pro, was a general a general manager or whatever of Nevada Bob's golf and tennis. People probably won't even remember what that is, but that's like. 30 years ago, 35 years ago, that place was what now, I don't know, PGA Tour Superstore, or not as big, but the equivalent, or, you know, and Golfsmith actually, I think, went out of business, but people who know those stores, so Nevada Bob's was like the original, or Vans Golf Shop, I don't know if you know what Vans Vans is, so Nevada Bob's was like a bigger version of that, but they also did tennis and stuff like that, so um, I used to go to work with him when I was out of school watching all the tournaments and whatnot. So for me, it's different because I right. I probably was playing golf as a kid before I liked sneakers. For the reverse, 
I have no idea. I mean, the shoe companies definitely need to get involved and do stuff like that where they're making an Air Max one that they, that people see the players wear on tour. Right. But I think also the players who are perceived as more of the cooler players, like Ricky Fowler was the first one to wear joggers on the course. I think like two years ago, yeah, three years that. ago, something like that. Yeah. But then he was wearing like high top Pumas. I don't know if that's like it doesn't even it's not a good look. Number one, right. wearing high top anything with joggers and definitely not on the golf course. So I don't know if that and some of the colors like I don't know if why Puma thinks like bright orange and this and that is like the cool factor is definitely not to me. Um I think Nike's got to somehow try to get Ricky and some of those guys out of their current deals you and know, then start it there. I mean, Jason Day with the Under Armour? No, he's a Nike guy. Who's uh, Under Armour? Dustin Johnson? No, Spieth. Spieth, Spieth right. Under Armour, DJ is Adidas. So those are the two biggest th- – well, those are the three biggest guys who are non-Nike. So Adidas' biggest guy is DJ. Um, Under Armour's biggest guy is Spieth, and Spieth is now like – maybe he moved up after the Masters, but I think prior to the Masters he had fallen down to like 37th overall in the world, and two years ago or whatever when he won those majors, he was number one, I believe. And then Nike has pretty much everybody else. They have Molinari. They got Jason Day. I feel um, like Rory, Tiger. I mean, go down the list. I feel like, though, we do kind of put too much responsibility on Nike to make golf interesting to everybody else. But, I mean, there definitely have to be a part of it. Um, like I said, Cats and I know were texting me like, yo, them Air Max golf joints are fire that uh, um, oh, Finau was too, wearing. Yeah. yeah, like that he was wearing. And they were. They were dope. It brought it to the, you know, like, oh, okay, them joints look fire. And then now a lot of the sneakers heads, we see them on sale all the time with sneakers app and whatever else. Yeah. And they fly off the shelves because people are trying to resell them. And uh, I was saying that I know there's a lot of sneaker heads out there that do golf, that do golf, but they don't golf. They don't put it to the forefront or make it as announcing, announce it as much as they possibly do on social media. I do feel that it is a sneakers company's responsibility to do this. And... Even for the other ones, the lower ones, the Under Armors, the Adidas, all that, they need to ride this Tiger Wave as well. What's the next major? Pebble Beach? No, they changed it this year. So the next major after the Masters traditionally was the U.S. Open. This year they moved the PGA from August or wherever, July, whenever it was, I think August, up now until May. So it used to go Masters in April, U.S. Open in June, um, Open Championship, which is the, also called the British Open in July, and then PGA in August. So now they move the PGA to now the second one. So this will be the first year the PGA is the second one. So May is the PGA, and it's at Bethpage where Tiger won the U.S. Open. I definitely see there are going to be a lot more players out there dressed a little bit differently this one. Like, everyone's going to be watching this from the first round and on. Maybe not everybody who's a casual golfer. They'll wait till the final round to see where Tiger's at. But this is an opportunity right now for golf to say, all right, let's try to figure out how to attract a new crowd of golfers who understand the game, who want to learn the game and just want to give it a shot. I didn't start playing golf to probably about four or five years ago, and I, was, I wasn't against it. I just didn't see the appeal of it, especially living in Arizona. It's like 150 out here. So going out there to golf, I mean, even if we do golf in the heat, we'll go out there like 6 a.m., whatever it is. By the time it's about ten thirty, it's freaking hot. You get to, you're done with the the you get to the back nine. Yeah, but you're the, about see, the, to die. The thing with golf here, I don't mind playing when it's hot because that's when it's cheap in the summertime. But the thing that about golf is you have to hydrate the night before. That's what people don't realize. If you go out there, and especially you, don't drink no water. I you got to drink water. water and Gatorade the night before, and then take another Gatorade and like at least one bottle of water, maybe two, on the course with you, and be drinking it consistently throughout the day. Like not slamming the bottle but you got to be taking sips and like on every hole or whatever see i take beer out there fam. yeah you can do that too but beer is going to dehydrate you facts uh, so I'll be sweating make, bullets as man. long as you're drinking water and gatorade beer is fine but yeah that that's definitely the biggest problem with arizona in terms of golf is in the winter time it's cost prohibitive because the the nicer courses some of them are 250 dollars, and then in the summertime everyone wants to go out at six or seven a.m because that's right. the only time they can you know beat the heat or whatever i don't care i'll go out at 2 p.m in the summertime i don't do it as much anymore as i used to but i feel like i'm gonna start doing that because one thing i've learned living in arizona is like you can't avoid the heat like trying to not be hot is stupid so it's like you know might as well go out there and figure out how to enjoy it and and plus when i golf i don't wear shorts and short sleeve shirt i wear long sleeve everything i can't golf yeah, in shorts 
and I hate golfing in a hat. I feel like it's in the way. But no, definitely I do like to see, you know, somebody that posted a picture of Jordan, like a picture of Jordan, like from like the 80s, like cleaning his golf clubs. And it said like every black person in America right now. Facts. <laughs> yes. I went outside. Did Whoa. you watch the thing I sent you about Tiger? Which one? The commercial thing? No, nah, the interview that he did. Uh Oh, yeah, the old one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it like I saw it before. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, I mean stuff like that's that. That's not what I would have expected because I don't remember saying uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I don't remember saying that either. But I saw it like last week or the end of the Masters that day, whatever that Sunday. Um, but you know, it is, like I said, I appreciate it. I think a lot of people need to come together, figure that out, and hopefully, you know, we're a part of that. I think you know, talking to a few people, it's a good opportunity for us, you know, to see if we can be a part of making golf a little bit cooler to other people. So hopefully, be on the lookout. You know, we're in some conversations with stuff. So. Uh, Jordan One OG. The, you want to talk about it? What the high that's coming yes. out? That's recut. I Can mean, it's I good. Talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. Every I'm so sick of Jordan Ones. Okay, so you mean to tell me all these Jordan Ones prior are not OGs? What all these? <laughs> You know how many Jordan ones have come out? I think the band ones had the true high. I mean, I don't really know what they mean by high cut because how. People sometimes wear those OGs to events. Like, you know, I don't know if you remember, but like when we first started the podcast, we were talking about that one that was like sneaker release. It was like, if you wear the, the whoever has the oldest Air Jordan 1 on gets right. to the front of the line or something like that. Or like, we pick who gets to buy the shoe based on what shoe you have on your well, feet. Was that like overseas stores and stuff like that? Something like that. I think Jay was telling us like about that. Do, do a kickflip on a skateboard and you can get the shoe. Right. Similar to that. All right. And some, some people were wearing... The, the 85s to the release. Some people wearing the 94s. But so I know people have seen them on feet and been able to compare them to other shoes. I don't think is it. It can't be that big a difference because when you see a mid on the shelf, you can tell the difference between a mid and a high OG like the stuff they've been releasing lately. I don't know. The shape looks different when you look at pictures on the Internet. but I don't know the difference. People are losing their minds online. They need three pairs. They need two okay. pairs. Well, people would have said that anyways if they were coming back right. out. The, Throw away. What they need to do is go get those old materials from <laughs> 1985. That's what they're doing. Oh, well, well so I don't know if we can confirm that. I read the description. It says the old from materials. From who, though? Huh? You didn't read the description from Nike. You read the description I mean, from someone who's assuming. Uh, assuming. But they said they're going to have the correct dimensions. What yeah, are you which talking means, about? All those molds are gone. All those molds have been thrown away. That's why when retros come out, they're not exact. Because guess what? They don't have that mold anymore. That's why so retros are replicas. That, so I understand that. Well, you just bought Jordan 4s and you said they're not replicas. So relax. Oh, I didn't say they weren't replicas. Yeah, you did. I said that we had no business owning any other ones unless it has the Nike in the back. Now... If anybody You've thinks... also said they're not replicas before. Maybe not about four specifically, but about anything that's Nike Air. Sixes, whatever. You said they're not replicas. They're... The, I thought that. Oh, so I, you changing today. No, because you know what? <laughs> Let me tell everybody now. I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, I fam. wouldn't be surprised that the fours that we cop, these new fours, don't be surprised in about two years they come back with the... Fam, the OG True 4. When does it end? Like, when does it end? I, I'm seriously, all of everybody who has any Jordan ones prior to whatever these are getting ready to come out, you throw them in the trash. They're fakes. They're replicas. <laughs> I don't care if they came from Nike, East Bay, Foot Locker. I don't care. Everybody who was, when the last time Brad ones came out? 2016? Fam. Yeah. Throw them in the trash. I got a pair at the house. Shout out to Don. I can't throw them in the trash because he got them for me, but they're fakes now. All right. It, it makes absolutely no sense for like them to be like, and this is for the record too, and we said this a long time ago. If anybody thinks that they're that Tinker Threes are the only other Tinker design out there, you're, you're fooling yourself. They're gonna come out with another version of Tinker Threes. That's another one that was gonna be it, or Tinker Air Max Nineties. They're gonna keep doing this, telling us right now that you're gonna make finally make us the real Jordan Ones is so asinine and ridiculous. Uh, it's dumb. All of these drone ones we was out here wearing, we thought was fire. Throw them in the trash. They're all trash now. <laughs> Every single one. We go ahead and cop these. If we say, finally, we got the real OG 85 true height cut dimension, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you want to say that? Cool. Throw your other ones in the trash. You can never wear them again. They're fakes. They're all replicas. Any Jordan that isn't the absolute retro styled whatever is a replica sneaker. 
Yeah, you wildin' fam. If you're you, you got Bread Force, right? No, I sold them because okay, of this one. And they had no Nike in the back, right? Yeah. Replicas. The the white cements we had before the Nike came out of the yes, back. Yes, I'm fine. Replicas. Yes, that's fine. You've already said that point before. What I'm saying Hate is it. what I'm saying is you said all those one with Nikes are are legit and now you're saying they're not. I'm I'm confused now. I'm confused, fam. You can't be confused. The Jordan so 6 you, that, you made it up. This is your no, no. thing. How are you confused? No, because the Jordan <laughs> 6 that just came out right now with the Nike in the back, the correct infrared, all that nonsense, the materials on that were so awful. You saw them. Yeah. Awful. Oh, that was, you know, early pair that I got from uh, winning the the shock drop. Oh, the, the sixes? You know, never sixes, lost right? a shock drop until the one that I knew actually was coming. And actually, I've known a couple of them were coming. And it's the number one shoe of all time. Uh, so I don't know how that's... To you. Yeah, exactly. That's to me. Um, but that six, if I think that there's not a better version of the six out there, I'd be a fool. If I don't think Nike is going to come out in about eight years and be like the true six, 91, whatever year it was. If I don't think that's going to happen, I'd be a fool. And they're going to make these sixes that we got now look like trash. They're going to come out with everything better. They're, 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 they're playing with us, bruh. Cats is out no, here. Not. Like, they started that. They started that. What you call it? Two. What was it? Two years ago when they said. Uh, then that what was, was that term? S- very subtle. Um, no, they didn't. They made a big deal about they it. They made it a big deal no, about the it. The shoe sucked. I'm not telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the point. point. No, no. I understand that. But you're saying they're going to make something better. They already told us they were going to make something better, and it didn't do it. Right. And now they're telling us they're bringing back the real stuff now. The molds don't exist. So anyone who you've talked to on social media who is hype or does whatever. Number one, I don't care who you are. You're a moron because those molds don't exist. Those molds are 34 years old. They're not making the exact shoe to specifications. They're going to try to get something close. Good luck. Well, we will see. And when I cop them, any other Jordan ones that I have that are black reds are being sold or thrown in the trash. You know, they're you replicas. You throwing nothing in the trash. You're so. right, but I'm slanging them, fam. And I can't even get none for them now. How the heck do you slang something when there's a real version coming out, who the heck is going to want this other sling. version? You can, but you can't sling them for what you want. What do you want? All you need is the what you paid for it. These are going to be out here in abundance. This is Black Friday release. So we're all going to have eight pairs. Okay. If you try. A try? You're the one who doesn't try. What are you talking about? I'll be trying this Black Friday. Uh, okay. Well, you better start spending money at Champs, Foot Action, Foot Locker. I got to do that. To get a uh, 10-minute head start on the apps. Let me tell you where I'm not spending money. Champs, Foot Locker, Foot Action. Then where do you think you're getting them from? Fam, we out here, me. Uh, They're doing raffle tickets. Uh. Who is who is they? <laughs> they? Who is we and who is they? That app stuff, it ain't flying with us. They're doing raffle tickets. So. Old school. You know what even sucks? We don't even got a Nike anymore. You said that that was a good thing and it was going to happen. And What's now good listen thing? to you. <coughs> what? You were projecting that to go out of business and said no one will care and now listen to you. No, no, no. When it comes to stuff like Black Friday releases and stuff like that, we care. All right. I don't know. Don't say we. You, apparently. You care too. You've no, been out there chasing the last... concords. Yeah, you was when? out there with me. When? About seven <laughs> 2011. years ago. 2011. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It happened though. <laughs> 2011. Air Max Hyperfuse? It's just one less place to get something now. I don't like that. You. Nike to us now. Don't no, no, no. don't start complaining about it now. You were on board with it no, going out no, of business. No, no. Uh, I wasn't on board with it. I uh, thought it was disappointing and sad. No, you wouldn't. No, no. Stop. I'm sick of stores like that being put in areas that don't care as much. That store, that real Nike store, you know, should have been put. It should have been put in like Tempe. It should have been put in like Arizona Mills. It should have been put. Oh, they definitely had no business putting it at the top corner of the state, <laughs> at least in terms of like the far. most important county. You know how how bad it was to try to get people to come all the way from the west side. No, they probably should have put it at Biltmore, to be honest with you. But Biltmore, pr- right. I would imagine Biltmore probably didn't want the issues that come along with a store like that. Man, please, people line up. No, no, I don't mean like no, no, I know what you're real about. issues. I'm saying yes, the perceived issues from security. Or I know. I'm talking about from them. They need to chill. Um, so, anyways. F those, F all your other Jordan 1 br- bands or bread ones you had, throw them in the trash. They're replicas, they're fakes. Cop these ones on Black Friday and move on until 10 years from now. No, they, they don't the cop, real- so I can cop. <clears throat> Here's the thing, you don't like highs anymore. You copping the key? It doesn't matter. Are you copping the key? If I don't cop, I'm fighting. with, with somebody. I'm scrapping somebody. I Same thing with the would. fours. Uh, I actually put in a raffle ticket on like <laughs> sneakers and stuff because I was so mad about Replica not boxes. getting them on. Uh, well, not for me, for you. I was so mad. And plus, I'm keeping the fours anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
I was so mad about not winning on sneakers. Now, granted, I will say on sneakers, I tried to go for a different size that wasn't mine so I could resell it and keep the extra 50 bucks or whatever and then buy my size. And I should not have done that because I probably jinxed myself. But I lost on kids <laughs> and men's. I did men's first and then kids once I realized it was there. And I, like I said, I was on the – like when you were texting go or whatever, I was already on there. So, I mean, I was in there – Maybe not as fast as like the people who had stayed in the app the whole time and refresh for thirty minutes or twenty minutes or whatever I ended just up kept being. Doing it. I'm not gonna sit there and refresh for twenty minutes straight. I'm I'm gonna just wait till the thing actually goes live, like every other shock drop that I've gotten when I've never lost on it. Only shock drop I ever lost on was Travis Scott's, and that was on there for a millisecond. I mean, that wasn't even like a real thing. It was like I never even tried it, never even saw it. I think twenty three man, what's his name? Twenty three app yeah, geek. Yeah. Yeah, he. What did you say? Huh? Whatever his name is, J twenty three at man. I don't know something else. <laughs> what? Nope. Uh, yeah. When you know, like he normally he po- like if you have the app, you get the alert first, and then he tweets or whatever it is. So with the he Travis Scott, first, then he tweets. Yeah, exactly. So with the tw- the Travis Scotts, he had already was sharing his like got him thing or whatever before. But the, the Travis Scotts was another one that. Those like Discord groups and whatnot, they know about. Cook groups know about that stuff beforehand because people, sh- the one whoever knows, shares it with everybody. Cook groups just sounds funny. It sounds supreme stupid, but guess what? Cats those are the people are who are cooking. those are the people who are most successful with shoes. Is the people in those groups because they got information first. Cooking, I remember cats Bruh, was copying watched, shoes actually out here doing this like okay. cooking. Uh, like, Anyone well, who like, actually yeah. says the word cook and does stuff like that is the dumbest thing in history, and especially like if you call built writing code and building a thing cooking you're a nerd but i will say i've watched a video online before that shows those discord groups when you're in one of those groups they literally send the link out for ev- for every monitor site like those monitor groups every site that's which is probably another topic we need to talk about and probably need to have so- yeah, we need to have what's the name so- of here? you won't tell them all right um so when you're in one of those groups, you know, if you're on the page or you app or however it works, they literally send the link. Like, say it's like Hanon. They send the link and everything in the shoe. So, like, when me and you get those alerts on Twitter, it's already someone or thousands of people clicking the link from inside the app that takes them right to the cart on those sites. Oh. So we have no – that's why you know, you're trying to cop something manual uh, and some of those, like, releases, we got no shot. Oh, see, I don't know the ins and outs of that. But I do want him on there. Tell him to come on. He's the master at that stuff. Uh, you run the sneak this account, so you can. And don't be stupid. You actually have conversations with him regularly. All you got to do is say, yo, you got to come on this week. And that's it. That's all you got to say. My voice sounds wild, fam. Um, you got to sneak this account, fam. <laughs> made playoffs. You been watching? Ben, I texted you last night, huh? I mean, you text everyone, but have you been watching? Like, that? I know you've been texting. No, I don't Relax. watch nothing. I just look for scores. I do predictions and look for scores. <laughs> <laughs> if um, you want winners in the NBA, let me know. I'll give them to you, fam. But live bets only. Yo, what's up with the Thunder, fam? Your your MVP, Paul George, is trash in the playoffs. So. I mean, they're on the road the first two games. So. He's trash in the playoffs. But But here's the thing. So that was another bet that I hadn't told you about. I can show you the screenshot from You made NBA bets? Playoff mm, bets? No, telling my friend what to bet on. Oh. Okay. So um I didn't I wasn't paying attention to game one, but game two, um, one of the bet systems that, that I've saw on Twitter the, from this thing that I follow, um, was and this won't make sense to a lot of people, but when on this app they track the number of bet tickets made which is just anyone going to the counter or online betting on something on a team whatever then they track the amount of money the person or the whatever is betting either whether it be offshore or in a sports book so when you compare those numbers typically if the ticket count is low but the amount bet is high that means the pros are on that side you following what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they're betting more per bet than just like a regular guy in Vegas who's like, I'm going to go put $50 on whatever. So with that, with the Portland game, there's a betting system that was like whenever the amount wagered, the dollars is higher than the ticket percentage for favorites in the NBA playoffs, it's like a 65% winner over the last 15, 20 years or whatever. So Portland was minus one, which means they're favored by one. 
and only 30% of the tickets were on Portland, but like 47% of the dollars. So I sent it to my buddy. I said, here, this follows this system. 65% return on investment was like 30 something, which you don't see in sports betting. Like that's like an incredible system when you're winning 65% of the time. Cause you only got to win 52.4% or whatever to, to be in the positive. So that's saying Blazers then. Yeah, like, Blazers okay. minus favor, one okay. means Blazers got to win by two for you to win the bet. If Blazers win by one, for you that push. game. Yeah, for Not, that okay, game. Okay. If Blazers win by one, you push and you just get your bet back. If the Blazers lose, then you lose your bet. How different is it going to Oklahoma City? What do you mean? Bet wise, Blazer wise, Blazers the overall favorite, right? No, it's game that the bet that I was talking about was for just for the game, game by game. So every game, uh, you're going to have a different line. Oh, I thought they do favorites for like the entire series. Yeah, they do that too. Oh. But that wasn't the bet I was talking about. I just was talking about that game. So anyways, it was Blazers had to win by two. They're minus one, so basically it means they're favored by one point. So if they win by one, you get your money back. It's called a push. If they win by two or more, you win. So they were down in the second quarter or something, I think by five or six or whatever. So I told him, Get it live right now because with a spread like that, minus one, you'll probably be able to get the Blazers plus two and a half or something live, which means they can lose by two or one and you still get paid. There's uh, a lot of stuff that goes into sports betting. That stuff is too complicated. I'll explain it to you. Have you been watching that show? When we go to Vegas, I'll explain it to you. Yeah, I watched all the episodes. Oh, of I course I'm watch watching that. Fire. I haven't watched it yet. I want to watch it. Because when you send Texas stuff, I have no idea what you're talking about. You sent the Blaz- the Spurs. The Spurs Denver game stuff, and yeah. I'm assuming you were related to the Raptors. That Raptors. So game I sent my up. buddy two picks in that game when they were down 20, and he won both. So then he went with the Nuggets. Then. Yeah. So the okay. Nuggets close minus seven for the game. So before the game starts, they close minus seven, which means they're favored by seven. They have to win by eight or more if you're betting on them to win the bet. So when you see a team's minus seven, and of course the line movement before the game matters. So I didn't check that part, but let's say it was going in the Nuggets' favor. So let's say it opened at six or six and a half and it went to seven. That means that either a lot of Joe betters, which is like just public people, are betting on it. So they're moving the line. Or pros, a fewer amount with more dollars, are betting on it. Anyways, so they closed minus seven. They were down 20. I told my buddy, check the live. At halftime. No, not at halftime. They cut it to 10 by half. But they were down 20 at some point in the second quarter. So I said, the Nuggets closed minus seven, seven seven-point favorite. They're down 20 right now. You might want to check live number to see what it was. He said, "Uh, six and a half. I said, take it. That's 13 and a half points of value. And you bet what on that? Just So he probably bet 50 or 100 or something like that. And then what do you win based off the fact that they came back? Depends whatever the odds are. So the odds typically on a live bet will be somewhere between even money and like minus 130. So that means minus 130 means you bet 130 to win 100. Minus 120 means you bet 120 to win 100. Minus 110, which is typical VIG, 10%, you bet 110 to 100. If it's even money, you bet 100 to win 100. Oh, so that's with any amount. I bet 1,000, I get 1,000? Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, okay. So... So you got to bet thirteen hundred to win a thousand or twelve hundred to win. So it depends on what the number is. But let's just say, for sake of argument, the common vig percentage, which means like what they charge to book your bet, is ten percent. So when you see minus one ten, they're charging you ten percent to take your bet. That's because, too much work. Because no, it's not. It's easy. Because the book is not in it to lose money. The book is in it to make money. You know what I mean? So, it, anyways, so they were down twenty. Typical thing. This is what we were talking about on the podcast when I was doing my Vegas explanation. So I'm going to try to get that live because that team's favored by seven. They're down 20. They're going to come back. Why can't you place bets as it's happening? You can. I know why. That just seems like I didn't know you can place a bet while a game is going on. Absolutely. Oh, that's crazy. An app. Yeah. So it depends. So he has an offshore app. You know, he doesn't live in Nevada. But when you go to Vegas, like I have the app that I downloaded when we went for the tournament. So I'll be able to go back on the same app that I'm already registered for when we get there, load the money, and then just play on the app. So I don't have to be in the sports book. Oh, so you're not betting at the actual sports book. You don't have to if you have the app. You just have to be in the state of Nevada. And then once it passes here in Arizona, likely we'll have the same kind of thing for Arizona. But, anyways, so they're down 20. I send them the thing and said, Check this line. He said they're plus six and a half. I said, bet it. That's 13 and a half points of value. They're going to come back. By halftime, they had cut it down in half. So they cut right. it from 20, what at one or whatever it was, to 10. So at halftime, the line was second half line 
was Nuggets minus seven. So the game line is Nuggets minus seven. The second half line is minus seven. So that means they can lose by three and you still push. If they lose by one, lose by two, they win by one, you get paid on all those numbers. So he hit it again at the ha- at half, and they won by what, nine? Something so, like that. So at one point in the third quarter, they were down. They had cut it to like eight or six or something, and then it went back to 19 or whatever. So I told him, you should have hit it again at 19. If you already have two tickets and you're you – know, some people don't like to invest that much money in one bet, but it's likely going to happen, and you saw they won by nine. So was, And I sent it to you at halftime. I said, this is what I was talking about. Plus six and a half, 13 and a half points of value. The other one's only 10 points of value, but still, same thing. Bet bet these numbers. I said, I guarantee you the Nuggets are going to win. Now, it doesn't always work out, but it's a very high percentage, and the Nuggets won by nine. So they outscored them by what? Is he betting on everything? 26 in the third quarter or 16 or something in the third quarter? I don't remember what it was. Is he just betting on certain games or all games? No, it's not responsible to bet on every game. So why not bet on stuff like the Bucks and Pistons? Bucks are obviously going to watch the Pistons. But see, that's how people who go to Vegas and aren't pros think. Because I'm like, why wouldn't I bet? The Bucks are out here washing the Blazers up. And Blake Griffin isn't playing the rest of the playoffs. So, like, why wouldn't you bet? If it was that easy, people the, the casinos wouldn't exist. Let's just put it that way. I mean, obviously, the harder bets you're going to win. Anybody who's going to have the nets over Sixers and certain whatever live, whatever you're talking about, is probably going to be better, more of a payout than betting. No, it depends what you bet and what the odds are. I'm but like, what I'm saying is so, oh, no, no, so, you think okay, it's so easy if you no, take no. the better team, but that's not always no, no, the case. So let's do this. Let's do Clippers-Warriors game. Clippers down 31 but they were the underdog in going in the game. So I wouldn't have bet that personally. Normally live, I'll only bet on the favorite if the favorite is down big. Why wouldn't it matter be more if you're betting on the underdog? If the underdog is at that. It would be. So, so, so they were down 35. You probably could have got a number that was like Clippers. Depending on It also depends on how late it is in the game. So they were down 35 in the third or fourth. I don't remember 31 what it was. in the like. 31. That's right. S- third i think the beginning of the okay third. so let's say in the third quarter they were down 31 so you probably could have got a number close to like 28 29 somewhere around there 27 or whatever because you know they're not going to give you uh you know they're not going to give you 31 and a half or 30 and a half which is almost like a free pass so if you would have got it live at that number guess what when they start making their comeback and once a three-point game whether they win or not you have 20 points of that you're covering by. So you absolutely can do that. But I don't like doing that because they're an underdog on the road. It could just as easily be, uh, okay, I mean, uh, Warriors up 31. Now, when um, Boogie got injured, yeah. that now, what might does that be do? A, so that might be a different story. That They may have taken the line completely down off the board if that happened. So that's possible. Or they could have just lowered it so much that there's no value in the bet. That sounds crazy. So say it was 31 and they cut it to like 23 and then I don't know what what the score was, but say they cut it to like 23 and, and he got injured on top of that, they might just pull it all the way off the board or the number might go to like 12. Say he got 10. injured before they were even up by 35. So he got injured, I think. Oh, well then, yeah. That well, what happens if you get thing. injured first quarter and the score is... It depends. Eight. It depends how big the, of a player. Oh. Like say, like KD or Steph got injured, they oh, might completely pull it off the board until they know how the next. Well, that's like, why I'm saying on a team like that is goes. Boogie that much of a value to take that off if you got a, a Thompson, a Curry, and a Durant. I mean, they lost. I don't so. even see you take it. <laughs> yeah, but they they got up by thirty something with Bogut and Looney out there playing, so it wasn't. Uh, well, that sounds crazy. everything in a in a sporting event is a factor. Weather is a factor. Um, injuries oh, yeah, yeah, are yeah. a factor. No, 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 I'm saying, it, like, say uh, a storm hits in the middle of a game and you we want to live bet it, that can absolutely affect the odds. A football For game. For an outdoor game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, see, you can teach, man. Right? Oh, right. I'm that that was some teach knowledge. Uh, you send random pictures in a thread and then tell me to slap myself yeah, in half. All right, but I teach me. That nothing. wasn't the whole point, though. The point was, I just said, I guarantee you, they come back to win. But even if they didn't win, say they lost by six, my bet still wins. If I if that if I would put it in, you didn't even say that. Yes, I did. I said, watch, they're going to come back and win. And then I sent you the screenshot that showed they won 114-105. I don't think you said anything about them guaranteeing the win. You sent random pictures and you said, this is the no, bet that I'm talking about. I was like, check what your, does this mean? Check your thing. I said, they're going to watch. They're going to come back and win. Um, 
Westbrook is still the greatest player of all time that will never win a championship. That's a fact. No, he he will never win a championship. I mean, yeah, Barkley and lots of other players Westbrook in that. Westbrook is averaging a triple-double three years in a row. He's the greatest player of all time that will never win a championship. Facts. And I don't – number – when he did it the first time, obviously very impressive because no one had done it since Oscar Robertson. But when it comes down to efficiency, he's not – He's nowhere near as efficient as he used to be when, like, the first year he did that. If you look at James Harden's efficiency numbers and then Russell Westbrook's, you would be shocked by the difference. And you and a lot of people think they're equally as good. They're not. James Harden is a way better player. James Harden efficiency numbers are that good. He has the highest. At one point this season, he had the highest PER in league history. I would have and thought that's the complete higher, opposite. And that's higher than LeBron and Jordan. I would have thought the opposite based on the number of threes that he shoots and misses. He'll have a game where he'll make eight and have a game where he'll yeah, miss 17. Yeah, but he gets to the line 14 times. That's a fact. So when you get to the line 14 times and they're basing it on, say you, t- say you take 20 shots or 25 shots and you score 40 or 50 points, and part of the reason is you've made 15 free throws, you're still scoring 50 points on 25 shots. You know what I mean? They don't take that into account as a negative thing if you get to the line a much time. I think Harden's been number one in getting to the free throw line for like the last three years or something like that. It's what the league lets him get away with is pretty stupid. Although this he year, has his own, he has his own set of rules. The first he travels almost every single time, um, and then the fouls they call for him. But I don't mean to make it sound like it's a conspiracy theory. He is earned. I guess phenomenal. you could use the word earned. Whatever he gets, but the NBA 100% has a separate set of rules for James Harden that they do not have for other players. And you can watch based on traveling and fouls. I think it's just hard to monitor that as in live action. It's hard to really tell. It's not hard to not let someone take three hop steps backwards and shoot a jump shot. But you can't. It's not like your traditional traveling. Like Yeah, it is. No, when you see the stuff he does, you're like live. You're not paying attention to it. You use hard, but then you replay. You're like, sure you are. Yo, that's hard what? to look that's, at. That's what their job is. It's like LeBron. LeBron travels a lot too, but he's LeBron like, doesn't do that. He doesn't do that type of travel. LeBron will run from half court to the dunk it and travel. All right, let's be realistic. That right? to me, you should be calling. All right, fam. Him going like this, like you can't pay attention to that sometimes. Let's be realistic. Anyways, you got anything else?